Speaking of dark side of the ring, Herb Abrams is offering a real wow. life. He's offering a real life prize of one hundred thousand dollars for anyone who can beat Dr. Death Steve Williams. Dr. D. David Schultz is said to be interested in trying to collect, provided it was a shoot. An effing shoot, bro. Why is this a thing? Like, if people thought this guy was legit tough, and, like, I mean, you know, the Brawl for All is clearly that, too. Um, yeah. I mean, he was, but, like, I honestly... Really? Was he? Because I doubt it. <laughs> well, especially back in his prime, like, or during this time period, he was in much better shape than during the Brawl for All, but... And he did knock some fools out during the Brawl for All, but... I think he beat one guy. Yeah. Well, I am out of a perverse pleasure. I just like or curiosity, whatever. I just kind of want to see Dr. Death and Dr. D beating the dog crap out of each other. Like as a shoot. I just want to see how it went. Sick uh, mind, dude. Dude, I I don't know. Bro, as a pure television viewer, I'm entertained by this, bro. Bro, I want to see John Stossel cover it, bro. Holy crap. Then he'd get he'd get the crap smacked <laughs> out of him by both of them. But $100,000? Like, what the hell, man? Where the hell is Herb Abrams coming up with a hundred grand? Is he like a Texas fan or something and he just hates Sooners or what? I don't know, man. I know he loved, uh, you know, Dr. Death because he kept him around the whole time. The thing about... Uh, Herb Abrams. Everybody needs to go back and watch the Herb Abrams and uh, UWF episode of Doc, of uh, Dark Side of the Ring as well. And There's also what, an episode in the archives, by the way, if you want to listen to that. Yes, yeah, go check that out. You remember the where he got all hyped up on the mic one time and just yelled out, let's hear it for the Jews! Yes. <laughs> like, what the hell? And he could get away with it because he was a Jew, but uh, like, what the hell, man? I Here we, I couldn't figure out the context of that though. There was none. He was I guarantee he was freaking fried. That's all I could think. I don't yeah. think Tony Khan does drugs. I'm trying to figure out his excuse for being the same way. Wow. He's nuts. Hey, Tony Khan at least doesn't yell out weird crap like that. So I mean yeah, he says some dumb uh, stuff, but um, Yes he does. <laughs> like what? There's a, a thing on YouTube when he was talking about the, the cage match that were, they were going to set up at the last pay-per-view. Everyone go, should go watch it. He gets, like, really worked up, and you know what? The, no one's going to interfere with this. And, you know, have a good day, everybody. <laughs> the hell did I just hear? It was the most bipolar thing ever. I encourage you to listen He's to not... what done with this. Go listen to it. He, yeah. he goes from, like, hardcore, you know, I, I hate the Bucks and the Elite interfering and all that, with only like half a second to, oh, I hope everyone's joining the show. What the <laughs> hell did I just hear? Yeah, that yeah. man needs to uh, never yeah, be on clo- camera. He's, he's close to Herb Abrams more than you want to admit it, but whatever. Yeah, well, hey, I never said he was. He should be speaking on a microphone or on camera at all. But I will admit I did laugh at a few of his Impact uh, commercials. But, like, it wasn't I was laughing with him. I was laughing at him. Yeah, so. yeah they were really horrific but yeah still at least i mean i don't know what his excuse is but we know he's not on drugs like abram was right okay now that's good content Back buddy fine, man. yeah right <laughs> you know we're, remember you know i i said instead of that's good crap pal then his thing is that's good content buddy <laughs> and he says that's it's just word, like that too that's his word too his buddy <laughs> yep I hate when people overuse that word because it like it makes me feel like they're condescending me it's like, don't call me buddy. It's your buddy, pal. <laughs> I'm not your pal, guy. 